So it's 2024 and you still don't love yourself. We're gonna fix that because we have to fix it. It's 2024, we're already growing into grown ass adults. We're not kids anymore. It is time we get our shit together. And we're gonna start getting our shit together by loving ourselves. Okay, wait, I love myself enough. But like, it's time for y'all to love yourselves, okay? Because here's the thing. How do you expect someone else to love you when you don't love yourself? Like, I get it. Your mother, your father, your siblings, probably your pet loves you. But like, no one's gonna love you more than you love yourself. That's just a fact. No matter how much you say, oh, he loves me, she loves me. Baby, don't fool yourself. There is nobody on this earth who's gonna love you more than you love yourself. And if you don't love yourself, how do you expect someone else to love you? If you don't give yourself 100%, how do you expect someone else to give their 100% to you? If you are not there for you, how do you expect someone else to be there for you? Let's start with that. Because self-love is very important. It's like a fundamental aspect of our overall, you know, men like well-being and mental health. And there's no way that after watching all of my videos and other influencers that you don't love yourself enough because we have been saying that you gotta love yourself, okay? You need to start building a positive relationship with yourself. You need to know your worth, you need to appreciate yourself, you need to understand yourself, and you need to start taking care of yourself. You know why? Because you love yourself. I mean, think about it. What is there not to love about yourself? I'm pretty sure there are a couple of things that's in the back of your head why you don't love yourself, but I want you to sit and just think for a second, what do I not love about myself? What do you not like about yourself? Go in front of a mirror, pause the video right now, go in front of the mirror and think and look at yourself and observe and think, what do you not love about yourself? It could probably be the way you look, fix it. It could probably be the way you behave, fix it. It could probably be something that happened to you. Get over it. Sometimes getting over things is not easy. That's why we have therapists. That's why we have shadow work, self-healing. That is why we have a lot of things in this world. Everything is fixable. If something is not dead, if someone is not dead, everything is fixable. Trust me. Self-love comes with practice. So if you start today, probably in a week, you'll already start seeing results. You'll probably start loving yourself, but you need to start today. You need to understand yourself, okay? When it comes to self-love, it's not about like, you know, oh, saying affirmations or sitting in front of the mirror and being like, oh, I love myself. Okay, that shit works. But you need to understand, you need to get to the root of the problem if you don't love yourself. There are many different ways of loving yourself. One, knowing yourself. Saying no when you need to. Not compare yourself to others first of all you need to know yourself what kind of person are you what do you like about yourself and what do you not like about yourself everyone has strengths and weaknesses everyone has things that they love about themselves and they hate about themselves not me personally because I have mastered self-love but hey for beginners you'll probably have a lot of things that you don't like about yourself and look at all of those things they are all fixable trust me they can be fixed. If you love yourself enough, you will say no when it's needed to. Because here's the thing, when you love yourself enough, you do not put yourself in a position where you feel like, ugh. If your friends are calling you out and these are the same people that make you feel bad, when you come back home, you feel bad, you don't really feel good about yourself, don't go. Because you love yourself enough, you know what's gonna happen, you know what the aftermath is gonna be. So you say no. If your toxic ex wants to come back into your life, Say no because you know the aftermath. You know what he has done to you. And here's the thing, when you love yourself, when you learn self-love, you will understand. You will know your boundaries. You will know your limits. If you love yourself, you will not allow somebody else to disrespect you. If you love yourself, you will not allow somebody to throw dirt on your name. If you love yourself, you will not put yourself in uncomfortable situations. If you love yourself, you will not go back to that horrific ex. If you love yourself, you will not stay around bad people who make you feel like shit. If you love yourself, you will never allow disrespect from anybody so all of these things come out of self-love so that is why it's important to learn self-love i don't know and i don't get the deal with comparing yourself you know what what is the point of comparing yourself listen 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 the models you see on instagram i'm sorry but the truth is that most of them have gotten work done i mean look at bella hadid Honestly, I don't want to put women down, but I have seen a lot of women, kids, children, compare themselves to look like her. Baby, if you had the money, you could look like her because all she had to do was get money and she came from money. 
She is beautiful in her own way, but did she actually look like that? No. She has to thank her doctors. So stop comparing yourself to people on the internet, all right? Look at me. I've gotten my lips done because I, f I was feeling so insecure about my small lips. But so I fixed it. I fixed the problem. I didn't like the way my lips looked. I got it fixed. I was fat as fuck. I was a cow. Literally, I fixed it because I hated myself when I was fat. I fixed the problem. It All it took was dedication and motivation and inspiration. And for my lips, all it took was money. So trust me, if you want this beautiful ass and this amazing figure, this amazing hot summer body, all you have to do is get some dedication, motivation, inspiration and go to the fucking gym. If you want to have a beautiful face, all you need is to work hard, go to a good doctor and get your face done. Or the third option is to accept the way that you are. Because there's no point in comparing yourself to others. That's just that. You cannot be comparing yourself to others because there is no point. Everyone has their own shit. Do you think Bella Hadid does not have her insecurities? Do you think Kim Kardashian does not have her insecurities? Do you not watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians? Everyone has insecurities. It is a normal human being thing. Everyone has it. Even the most beautiful person you think is on this world has insecurities. It is a normal thing. The minute you stop comparing yourself to others, your life will get better. And also, when I said accept yourself, I mean truly accept yourself. You will have things that you can't really change. Even with money, you can't change. Even with a lot of dedication, inspiration, motivation, you can't change. So be it. I mean, I have this tooth over here. I used to be so insecure about it. People would like, you know, tell me shit about it. And the minute I started accepting it, all of a sudden, I haven't heard a word about this tooth over here. Ever since, it has been five years, I have not heard one single person joke about my tooth. Not one single person. You know why? Because I love myself, I have accepted it. I could change it with money, but I don't want to because I'm comfortable the way it is. Simple as that. I have accepted myself. And one of the most crucial steps in loving yourself is to accept the way that you are. And if you can't do that, you fix it. There is no other way. Okay, you either accept the way you are or you freaking change it. There are a few things I changed about myself that I didn't like and there are a few things that I accepted because it is what it is. The decision is up to you whether you want to accept it or you want to change it. And also, self-love is not just about, you know, looking a certain way and feeling a certain way and doing things a certain way. Self-love has a lot to do with other things. Like, do you really forgive yourself for the shit that you do? Everyone has their own guilt. People feel guilty, but if you love yourself enough, you will forgive yourself. Forgiveness is the key. If you can forgive the cheating ex of yours a hundred times a month, you could definitely forgive yourself for the shit that you have done in the past. Forgiveness is the key, all right? People do mistakes. You need to just accept it and move on. Now, I'm not telling you to do careless mistakes and keep repeating the same thing over and over again. Absolutely not. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is people do mistakes. If there's something you feel guilty about right now, understand why you did it, forgive yourself and move on. Because here's the thing, if you are here, you will never be able to move forward. If you want to move forward, you have to fix what's here because this is going to fuck your mind up. You have to remove everything. You have to lessen your baggage so that you can walk a clear road. Self-love is also about accepting that people won't like you. It's okay if people don't like you. Do you know how many people hate me on the internet? Do you think that I don't have haters? Everyone has haters. Even the most nicest person has haters, okay? Literally, the Pope has haters, okay? Mother Teresa has haters. People hate. That's what people do, we're all human. There are things that we hate, there are people that we hate, and sometimes we are one of those people that other people hate and we have to accept it. You need to stop seeking validation. It is a part of self-love. When you love yourself enough, you don't give a damn about who likes you and who doesn't. When you love yourself, you know that it doesn't matter who likes you because you like yourself enough. Because here's the thing, if you're going to be worried about how people like you or do people like you, you're going to be wasting a lot of your energy and time. But when you don't give a shit if someone likes you or not, and you do whatever the hell you wanna do, you are more free. Here's one thing that I truly believe in life. Freedom is key, okay? Mental freedom, financial freedom, any kind of freedom. Freedom is the key. You need to be mentally free. If you are worried about if someone likes you or not, bro, don't do that shit. Because you are just 
occupying the space in your head and you can't do anything else that is really important that is more important than you thinking if somebody likes you because seeking validation is not what we're going to do here okay you need validation from other people if you feel like you need validation from others like just google the symptoms of validation seeker okay if you feel like you're always seeking for validation from others for things that you have done or you're always waiting for someone to validate you baby you need to fix that okay if you want to love yourself you have to fix the fact you have to change it you have to stop seeking validation because the only validation you need is from you so stop seeking validation and validate yourself because what other people say and their validation their opinions it doesn't matter this is you this is them their shit is over there this is your shit you give a shit about yourself okay you it doesn't matter if they like you or not because at the end of the day what is the point i mean are they actually i mean like is it the end of the world if someone doesn't like you like are you gonna be homeless are you gonna get sick are you gonna die if you are not going to die it is not a problem always think if you get a problem in your life if you're not going to die or if somebody else is not gonna die it is not a freaking problem okay so if someone not liking you is a problem and it's not going to kill you then it's not a problem anymore okay you let it go there are some people their own parents don't like them what do you expect you expect everyone to like that like you just accept the fact that not everyone is gonna like you all right it's a normal thing if you get haters you are doing something right okay stop being a people pleaser because here's one thing i have seen a lot of people do especially girls who do not love themselves they are people pleasers you guys say yes to everything you always want to make others happy but do these people make you happy what are you doing to make yourself happy don't tell me i feel happy when others are happy like bro your happiness comes from within okay if you can't make yourself happy nobody else is going to make you happy okay because when you depend on somebody else for your happiness you are putting your happiness in risk when you depend on someone else for anything it is risky S especially when it comes to respect validation appreciation things like that when you depend on someone else to make you happy yeah you're doing a dumb thing because everything should come within so stop being a people pleaser make yourself a priority you should be your number one priority if you love yourself enough you will put yourself first it doesn't matter who's in your life you will put yourself first because that is very important when it comes to self love i have seen people with no self love always put everybody else first and themselves last like not even at 0 they put themselves at minus 5 okay you put yourself first and see how things change for you if you have an exam tomorrow and your friends are hanging out and you know it's going to be real fun but you're thinking about your future you're prioritizing your future yourself you tell them no but if you want to be a people pleaser you don't want to miss out on all the fun they're going to have and you still end up going and then you get bad grades that is not you prioritizing yourself honey that is you fucking up your future you always have to put yourself first if you're in a toxic relationship or in a relationship where like nothing is really wrong sometimes a relationship doesn't have to be toxic for you to leave sometimes a relationship could be having different opinions having different mindsets being two different people if that is the case it is okay to leave because you love yourself for example you are a very romantic person you love romantic gestures you love romantic stuff you like a guy who gives you flowers who gives you gifts who treats you like a princess but then you are in a relationship with a guy who's not very romantic and he doesn't like doing romantic gestures so what do we do how do we come to a solution what is what is the solution here break up that is the solution because you love yourself enough there's nothing wrong with him he's probably the most kindest sweetest and honest person you've ever met but he's not meeting your love language if you're going to stay with him only because he's kind and he's the perfect guy but he's just not romantic there should be no buts okay you love yourself enough you love getting flowers and he doesn't get you flowers you leave because here's the thing when someone loves you they do it for you even if they don't believe in it like me like my partner loves getting me flowers i love receiving me flowers so here we go our relationship works perfectly fine but my ex on the other hand he used to think getting flowers was a waste of money i don't see it that way because it's emotions i get really nice emotions i feel good he didn't give me flowers 
I left. Honestly, that was not even an ex. It was like, we were just talking for a very long time. So I left. I was like, bro, if you don't understand my love language, bye bye because I love myself enough and I want to be treated the way I expect. I want to be treated the way I dream of being treated. And I will not accept anything below the standards that I have set. You know why? Because I love myself and that is what you need to do. If you love yourself enough, you will do it. You will set standards and you will stick to them. There will be no buts. He did this, that and this, but I love him. No, no. Instead, you could do something like this. He's a nice guy. He's amazing, but I love myself. He's not getting me flowers, so I gotta leave. It's something like that. Trust me, someone will say, oh my goodness, these standards are too high. If you feel like these standards are too high, this video is not for you, baby. Go somewhere else. This is for the high value woman girlies, okay? If you value yourself enough, you will set your standards high. And trust me, the man who wants to meet your high standards will do whatever it takes. Point blank. Period. You gotta do whatever it takes to love yourself. Do you feel more love when you go get your nails done, get a face done, or just get anything done? You keep doing it. Even though it's a waste of money, it doesn't matter because it makes you happy. Don't cheap out on yourself. Self-care is really important when it comes to self-love, all right? Don't think of, don't ever think of you getting your nails done is a waste of money. If it makes you feel good, if it makes you happy, you do it. No matter who says it's a waste of money, you do it. You know why? Because it makes you happy. You love yourself enough, okay? You gotta also set boundaries at the same time. When you love yourself, like I explained in the beginning of this video, when you love yourself enough, you set boundaries. You don't let people cross them. You put people in their place so they don't fuck with you because you love yourself. You do not expect disrespect. You do not accept anything other than the shit, the standards that you have set. If people can't reach them, if people can't meet them, whether it be a partner, a parent, a dog, or a friend, you let them go. You know why? Because you love yourself enough to do so. Anyways, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.